All right, darlings. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Here we are. <laughs> Ram, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who will catch the replay, I have a feeling a lot of people will catch the replay. Please let me know if you can hear me well, or maybe I require to put a headphones for a better sound. So you guys, this is the sound without the headphones. And now I'm going to give you another option. Technological parts require a little patience, but it's worth it. Let's see. Okay, you guys, how about sound now? Is it better with the headphones? I can, I'll be able to see if you give me some hearts. So the angry face and the heart is very close to each other. <laughs> I recommend to hit the heart button. You prefer without, okay. Better without? Thank you, guys. You see? You see, I'm glad I asked you. Okay, let's leave this behind. And I'm gonna wait a few more seconds. You guys, just felt guided to share this live stream with you when the spirit calls me to show up, even though I really love doing live streams in the morning on a fresh energy. But once again, uh, he says it's sharper but not natural. Hmm. Feedback. All right, you guys, we're just gonna roll without the headphones. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna roll without the headphones. But it's something you know when you say yes to your mission you're literally on 24 seven. And I wanted to share with you guys, number one, the power of eclipses and the power of this transformational portal, and also deeper understanding of what's going on with the fifth dimension and ascension process. And a lot of people are going through turbulence, right? Things are getting bumpy into their life, some areas of their life falling apart, right? Because that's probably the only way in order to be rebuilt, in order to liberate the space for something new. Perfect. Hello, Angelica. Yeah, you guys, here I am. Here I am twice a day, twice a day when the mission calls. So I'm, I'm doing this little introduction just to give people a chance to join and to log in. We're going to start very, very soon. Yeah, it's the portal, you guys. This is a really, really powerful portal. And the great spirit just gave me a directive. And Ascended Masters gave me a directive, you guys. All day long today, I was receiving sacred number directive because I'll share with you how the invisible world of spirit communicates to you, not through the human language, even though it's available. Usually it's through the language of the soul. Spirit world communicates through the language of the soul. Right, you guys? This is why you, you, know, you will hear me again and again when I say sacred numbers, right? Sacred numbers that your spirit, spiritual team communicates. Hold on. I don't want to fall out of my dress on the video. <laughs> but <laughs> sometimes, you know, you got to roll with things. So, you guys, I'll share with you um, a live training that I am leading literally in 12 days. And it's, it's a directive that I received from Spirit to offer ascension support to people who are going through a turbulence, to going through massive awakening or stabilization of new fifth dimensional frequencies. So this is the purpose of this live stream, to give you an overview how to harness the power of this portal that we're already in it and what's in the course that I'm teaching next Sunday. And it's going to be a very different model, you guys. I've never taught this particular content before. It's new, it's upgraded, and it's very potent. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you guys, every time. So when it comes to turbulence, imagine that you're on the airplane. And every time you reach a next level of altitude, turbulence comes with next level of altitude. So the reason why I keep so passionate about sharing the message about frequency, because I'm moving into fifth dimensional vibration, right? It's all about frequency mastery. It's all about frequency mastery. The willpower not going to lead you that far, 
right? Just, just the mind, yeah, it's going to take you to a particular point. Eventually, you'll realize that it's time to develop energetic sovereignty. And you develop it through mastery of fundamentals. Fundamentals, you guys, is the key to mastery. So when I hear people still leaning on healers to unblock their power centers, their chakras, I hear a voice. It's time to empower people with very practical tools that you can use, that you can teach your clients to use, so the people stop looking for the help outside of themselves. It's almost like, you know, I can, I can give people fish for the rest of my life, but that's a very disempowering way to serve. My goal and my intention to see every person is fully capable to fish themselves and eventually to become master fishermen. That gives me the deepest satisfaction, you guys, and the deepest fulfillment that my time is actually spent well. So for those of you who are joining, welcome, you guys, welcome. It's an evening live stream with Katarina Satori. And those of you who never met me before, people who catch the replay, like, who is this woman? My work in the world is focused in three arenas, you guys. It's awakening, leadership, and sovereignty. They all beautifully, beautifully flow together, right? Because once you awaken to a bigger reality of who you are, naturally, spontaneously, you desire to contribute and to serve, right? And when you serve and develop your gifts, the soul-given gifts, you step fully and fully into your sovereignty. And sovereignty, from my perspective, is ultimate self-mastery, where you create your own economy, where you know that you are the creator, and you can generate your own reality, you can generate your own resources, you can magnetize the right support to you, you don't rely on anything outside of you. You know how to create from within. No matter what happens, if you lose everything overnight, yes, it's going to be uncomfortable. And you know how to get back to your center, and how to rebuild everything from within. This is the ultimate intention that I hold, you guys. And the very first step, I always focus on empowering people with energetic sovereignty first. All right, people are joining. What's going on, you guys? Hi, I'm watching your, I'm watching your, your comments. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, eclipse season. So with eclipses, I had the first experience of the power of eclipse. For some reason, I'm falling out of my dress, you guys. It's distracting. Sorry. <laughs> A little bit of humor in the evening. So, okay, we're staying together. So the very first time I, I realized the power of Eclipse was actually last year when we had that massive solar eclipse. Do you guys remember that one? And I went to my favorite astrologist, Noah Lakshmi. If you need a good astrologist, just let me know. I'll, I'll connect you. And she said, she said, Katarina, your life will not be the same. You're entering eclipse season and the eclipse falls on your birthday and your life will not be the same. And she says, really harness the power of this energy. Eclipses are portals that propel you towards your higher destiny. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like the roller coaster that you, you get on, right? And if you forget to strap your seatbelt on the roller coaster, it can be very painful and bumpy and um, not so pleasant, right? So how do you prepare and harness the power of eclipse energy? Once again, eclipse is a portal. It's a door. Your soul is taking your human expression, you know, this reality, and giving you a big push towards your higher destiny. So three things to watch out for the level of coincidences in your life, which are divine synchronicities, paying attention who is walking into your life. We are in the middle of eclipse season, you guys. The last eclipse is gonna be on August 11. On my birthday, <laughs> I was born on the eclipse. Yeah, go figure, you guys. So we are right here. And what I am noticing whenever I'm in eclipse season, it's acceleration. It's a buildup of energy. So if you're not used to the high frequency coming into your body, 
what you will may unconsciously do is block it right you guys and block it and avoid the power of it so <laughs> leo says yes a fellow leo that's right you guys double leo here right here so instead of blocking and instead of panicking and instead of feeling really disoriented which is all available to you you guys tune it in because you're advanced being and you're ready to hear this information if you were not ready to hear this information you would never log in you would be like oh katarina this crazy russian here she goes again about frequency about fifth dimension about ascension right so everybody on their perfect divine spiritual journey even if they don't know that yet so my message is for people who already can tune in to the frequency of sacred geometry ascended masters ascension right using uh the power of spoken word fifth dimensional templates right activation of your sovereignty i like the expression dig the well before you're thirsty dig the well before you're thirsty when would be a good time to begin invoking your sovereignty soul template i suggest right now because you it's almost like you give your agreement to your oversoul hey i'm available for accelerated spiritual path i'm signing up for living in a fifth dimensional reality i am ready to remember realize and claim my sovereign self right you guys and the change is not going to happen overnight you're not going to wake up in the morning embodying your sovereignty fully but your life begins to tilt in that direction so that's why you guys it's so so powerful to affirm and to declare and to choose and to choose and to choose the, your preferred reality not just sit back and then just kind of like tumble your way through this incredible energetical portal once again if you guys are here it's because you're ready to receive this level of transmission this level of message all right you guys so i honor you thank you for being here so the portal of eclipse that was last year you guys and my astrology said katarina you're entering a really powerful eclipse season pay attention to synchronicities that show up in your life to people who walk into your life this is a destiny everybody who walks into your life in the clip season this is a destiny people you guys last year at exactly the same time my two powerful allies walk into my life Ivan de la Fleur and Marcy Locke I called them in I received the message that my friend astrologist told me she's like intuitive guide I can't even call her just astrologist which astrology is incredible science you guys one of the most ancient ones so i took the message to heart and i became hyper vigilant who is walking into my life can i be more alert can i create the space can i keep my vibration high to match this high frequency being that the forces of destiny is bringing to me that is my prime responsibility the message was presented to me I could have just listened to it, nod, and just filed it away in a memory treasure box. And then this powerful portal that was right in front of my face, I would be remaining unaffected by it. So darling, really, really powerful. <laughs> welcome, welcome, darlings. Here we are. We're totally just free flowing about the power of eclipses and i'm sharing my personal experience last year when i had a prophetic message delivered to me that in eclipses season my true allies will walk into my life and you guys what i hope that you will receive from my sharing when a messenger is sent to you this obviously receive the message and the way you honor the message is by acting on it acting on it right no matter how out of the box right like totally out there 
but you guys are so advanced. I'm looking at people who are joining. You know what I mean? You, you, you are very advanced. You get it. You get it, you guys. So and, and Yvonne, I just summoned her. I was talking about Yvonne de la Flor and she just showed up. Here she is. <laughs> I just summoned her. But you guys, so we are right in it. We're in the eclipse portal right now. And the next wave of ascension is here because remember, eclipse is the accelerators. Accelerators. So what I invite all of us to do is to lean into daily fundamentals, daily practices. I used to do, you guys, uh, a lot of healing work with people, a lot of energy healing work until I realized, hello, Francisco, good to see you. So all of my allies are here. I love it. I just love it. You guys, so look at this complete paradigm shift. And maybe some of you still do healing work with people. And maybe this will be a new perspective for you. Right? And until I realized, you guys, my aura does automatically. My aura is a transmuter. I'm a walking, a walking <laughs> human transmuter. Right? And I learned to shield myself to kind of slow it down so that doesn't just automatically go and process other people's emotions, other people's energies. It's a very exhausting way to live. So you're going to monitor it and you're going to really be mindful of that. And then I just had this huge breakthrough because I kept supporting people energetically, you know, by offering them energy clearings and activations and all of that. And then I began to see some people would take it and would run with it because they would maintain the results by practicing daily energetic discipline. Daily energetic discipline. And some people would be completely opposite. Some people would be just laying back and give me more. Give me more clearings. Give me more. And it's disempowering, you guys. It is the time to awaken the healer within. Awaken the alchemist within. Awaken the energy mastery that you can actually embody. And it lays in fundamentals, you guys, in fundamentals. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that I do is I make sure that my energy centers, the centers in my being that process a ton of energy, right? That they are unclogged. They are firing up in the way they are designed to be every single morning. Not on Sundays, not on Saturdays, not at the live event what everybody else is doing, but when nobody is watching, right? Because you guys, that's how you activate your true multidimensional self. This is what I am most, um, most passionate about, helping others to see themselves as a multidimensional beings, number one, and then give them a very simple and practical tools that they can liberate themselves from the old identities, from the old garbage, right? Of negative thoughts, pain, body feelings, the grudges, resentments, whatnot. Unforgiveness is huge, right? If there's even a trace of unforgiveness in your energy body, you guys, it's gonna keep you down, right? And you'll feel like, why am I not manifesting abundance? Why am I not attracting this, attracting that? Because there's this leaking energy, it's like a virus in your system. So every day I scan my body. Do I hold a grudge? Is there, a, is there a, someone in my life that I was abrupt, that I was unkind? And trust me, you guys, I have plenty of my human moments. I will never tell you that I'm perfect. That would be a disastrous thing to teach. Perfection doesn't exist. What I notice in my own process, you know, I found myself being abrupt. I find myself being mm, short with somebody. I caught it. The next is the most powerful moment to reach out to the person and authentically express that. I own you an apology. I didn't come to this interaction with a full heart. I came from my ego. Please forgive me. It takes an extra strap, you guys. But you begin to walk a very clean emotional life, like Richard Rudd, the author of Jinkies, teaches, right? And you also begin to lead a very clean energetic 
life. And you don't accumulate new levels of karma because it's not enough that's just to clean the karma, right? Clean the karma. If you keep building it up, you're not making much progress. So the whole power, you guys, you catch yourself out of congruency, out of alignment, being mean. Oh, you guys, I can be so mean. Oh my God, when I'm in my shadow, I can be really mean. And I know my shadow, that can, can take you by surprise, but I own it. And the, and the gap between, the gap between me catching my meanness, transmuting it with love, and owning my shadow patterns and reaching out to the person with, who got to see this mean side of me and say, oh, please forgive me. I lost awareness. You know, I, I forgot. Um, can we start again? This is real work. You know what I mean, you guys? This is real work. And it takes humility, it takes courage, and it takes daily energetic discipline. Because if your energy body, if you practice your rituals, you practice your tools, you'll be able to see negative vibration. And before it builds a momentum and shows up as a negative event in your life, you have caught it and you corrected it. It's so easy to correct what has been recently spoiled. So I have this, you guys, if, if you ever saw uh, my home, um, I have this beautiful white rug in the middle of my living room because I like all the feminine colors. I like the white and gold and all of that. This poor carpet, have seen things. You know, there's been wine spilled, there's been yogurt spilled, and I have this, <laughs> and I have this, you know, this carpet cleaner thing that you spray. You have to do it really fast in the first, like, minute and it completely removes the stain but you have to do it immediately so it's easy to fix what has been spoiled recently remember the metaphor of the carpet if you remove the stain immediately no harm done but if you let it sit the stain or the mark or the footprint on somebody's soul by being energetically un, you know, not mindful, that's gonna go deep. Yeah, Kylie approves my, uh, my, my carpet metaphor. <laughs> she, gave, she gave another carpet metaphor today. It was really, really funny, you guys. So where, where am I? When it comes to ascension, you guys, because I'm gonna bring to you this topic more in a deeper, deeper way. Ascension is a great hmm, opportunity that we have to align with this massive vibrational shift of entire humanity that we're going through. And not only align, but stabilize it in our body and begin to operate and to live in a completely new way from the place of oneness, from the place of alignment, from the place of generosity of the heart. And ascension, you guys, it's, it's, a, it's living at the completely different frequency, not intellectually, right? But really from the place of embodiment. So all the other beings, right? Because we have an enormous multi-multi-universe, with other civilizations, with other beings that we cannot see with our physical eyes unless you develop your mystical gifts and you begin to see them. And once you see them, you cannot unsee them, right, you guys? So all these powerful beings are cheering for us humans because we're finally reaching the pivotal point in our evolution when we are ready to live beyond the survival. Before, we were just trying to make it. We're just trying not to self-destruct ourselves and just trying to make it, right? But now, you guys, we are approaching the golden age. We're approaching the golden age, the collective prosperity, the collective leadership, right? Where we are using our mystical gifts to the full spectrum of that. We are using telepathy as a main source of communication. We create our reality at will. We have mastered the power of the mind. We have mastered the power of our language. We have mastered the energy body, right? We evolved as species. This is the golden age. 
that is here. We, we can feel it. We can taste it if you're energetically aware, even a little bit. But we require for the collective shift to happen, you guys. That's why ascension is never an individual process. It's a collective shift. Collective shift. Mm. So I'm always going to encourage you to never discount the inner work that you choose to do when nobody sees you. You know, when you get up and you decide to tune in your energy body, you decide to actually be and see yourself as an impeccable keeper of frequency. You decide to own your shadow, to make that call, to ask for apology, to not let the stain on the rug of your energy body, on the carpet of your energy body, to not let those stains go deep. So the vision is for this golden age that is approaching to us and all other civilizations are cheering for our awakening of the humanity. I say, why not? Why not to align yourself? Why not to say, hmm, what if what Katarina is sharing, and you know, Katarina is just a vehicle of expression for all these other teachers and beings and, and, and mystery books from every generation, for every era, they all say the same. We live in a time of great change. Humanity is awakening. So I wonder, why not align with this incredible opportunity? Even our great, great parents, our, our great, what is it called? Grandparents did not have that opportunity, you guys. You know, they are in angelic realms, your grandmother, your grandfather, and they're rooting for you because you are the ancestor of the future, how Yvonne is calling them, calling us. And as a, as a carrier of your lineage, why not open yourself up to energy mastery? Why not take yourself as a primary responsibility to become an impeccable keeper of frequency? Because you guys, the very first thing that everybody noticed about me, everybody noticed about you, is your energy, is your frequency. That's it. That's it. You know, I was, uh, I was just at the live event with Marcy Locke uh, for Ultimate Clearing event. Phenomenal event. Phenomenal. So in the morning, I would go to uh, the marina, to the harbor, and just do my devotional practice, do my prayers, do my intentions, and all of, all of the that I do. And there's two women who were walking by. And one of, and you know, I got to hear the conversation because they were speaking very loudly. And one woman was saying to another woman, she says, I just don't resonate with her frequency. It's her energy that's turning me off. And I just smiled, you know, because it's reality, you guys, right? Your energy body cannot lie. It just can't. It's impossible because your aura is actually external part of you, right? And it's invisible, but you can also see it. The very first interaction that happens between you and other person, it's not when you give them a handshake. It's not when you give them a hug. It's your aura hugs another aura and you feel either resonance you're like oh how can i be around this person more or you're like oh my god i don't know what's going on but i just like i need to recover from five minutes around you so <laughs> look, look how many beautiful people are joining you guys i'm very very honored to have your presence just sharing about frequency mastery, about really choosing to be that, choosing to see yourself as that. And if you just join, the replay will be available both on audio and on the video. And I was sharing about the vision, about the golden age, and an incredible opportunity that we have as humans to receive this invitation, right? To, to unfold our full multidimensional self. You guys, when you begin to see yourself as a multidimensional being, 
you really begin to see yourself as a limitless being. You become like this playful expression of consciousness, seeing these different aspects of you, right? Different archetypes in you. You will appear as a superhuman to other people, but deep inside, you know, you just did your diligence. You just invested the time in developing your energy body, mastering your emotions, training your mind, right? Surrounding yourself with other high frequency beings, letting go of people who drain your energy. So all of these things are usually not seen. They usually are done in private. They're usually done when nobody sees you. But what people feel is your frequency as a, as a, what is it called? The fruit of your labor, right? You walk into a room, you don't have to say anything. But very, very soon, people are just whoosh, magnetized to you. And it's not because of your good looks. Yeah, that, you know, that's pleasant to look for a few minutes. But if your energy is off, have you ever been around a really gorgeous person? Like, a drop that gorgeous whose energy was so repelling. And eventually you just like, you're looking at them, you're like, you were beautiful when I walked in, but you just, I, I, I just can't even be around you. Yeah, you guys. So this is, this is the power of your energy and how you do it, you guys, by first of all, seeing it as a daily, discipline and letting go of this crutch of leaning into other healers they can be great to a point but if you go back as like to get your fix i would say really just give yourself a reality check and seeing can i see myself as a healer within can i develop my own capabilities can I get to know my power centers, my chakras? Can I self-diagnose which one is blocked? Which one, where am I leaking my power? And then with every step you do like this, you guys, you become more and more energetically sovereign. You know, it's like in the beginning of my spiritual journey, I would go to psychics, right? Because I was so curious what the future holds. I had no idea that I was creating my future by the choices in the moment. But I would go and I was the best customer for the psychics, right? <laughs> it's so, so easy to read me at that time. You know, I can give you the most fantastic psychic reading if you ask me. But it's so easy. You can do that too. So eventually, you know, I let go of those crutches. And I begin to develop my own intu intuitive insight. I begin to trust in my own telepathic abilities. I begin to let go of the fear around mystical gifts and begin to activate my energy body and develop clairvoyance, ability to see clear, to see far, ability to trust your inner voice, ability to trust your decisions. And then you develop clairaudience, right? The voice of God. When the voice of God speaks to you, or the voice of the goddess, you choose. It's both, right? Do you act on the voice? Of the divine do you know the voice of divine so you have clairvo clairvoyance clairaudience telepathy intuition right the mastery of intention mastery of the language mastery of emotions and you're more and more equipped to receive higher and higher frequency because every time you clear yourself energetically you liberate the space for the new frequency to pour into you. And this is the most powerful gift. 100% <laughs> agree, Kylie says. Okay, you guys, uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the training that I'm teaching. And I'm teaching next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Next Sunday. It's gonna be very, very different from all the classes on frequency that I ever taught. And the reason why I'm doing it a new way is because my intention is to teach you a simple process, a daily energetic discipline that you can do. 
the first week is called Activate Your Multidimensional Self. Activating your seven subtle bodies, right? You only, you only see the physical body, but you actually have seven subtle bodies. Principles of resonance, frequency, and harmony. How to align your superpowers together. I have a cheat sheet over there so I can see. The science of transcendence and the art of ascension. The art of ascension. At any moment, there is a multitude of realities happening around you. There is heaven and earth, and there's hell on earth. At any moment you choose, you choose which one you are frequency matched to. Your frequency is based on the dominant thoughts that you think, followed by dominant emotions that you allow yourself to feel, right? Or let yourself be run by them. Thoughts, emotions, choices. Put it all together in a nice package. It's called your personal vibration, a personal energetic signature. Imagine that, imagine upgrading that. So you guys, it's gonna be three week class. Super, super simple, easy, and probably the shortest class that I ever taught. We're gonna have two weeks together that I'm gonna give you guys a break. For those of you who are gonna, who are gonna join, I'll be a break for integration and in the third week. So three words, activate, alchemize, and align. The first week is activation of your multidimensional self. The second week is alchemize your life. I would say if I only had half an hour and a thousand people in front of me, and somebody would say, Katarina, what's the number one tool you can teach that can alter these people's lives? I would teach a tool of how to alchemize your fear, how to interact with the primordial energy of fear in a very intelligent and evolved way, because your fear is just waiting to turn into power. If you know how to use the alchemy to turn that energy into power. So that's gonna be week two, you guys, alchemize your life with spiritual power. And number th week three, it's called Align. And it's all about aligning with effortless flow, how to invoke grace, synchronicities, and miracles into your life. Those do not happen randomly. Sometimes by the power of grace, they do. You gotta welcome these frequencies into your life, consciously, intentionally with great reverence in your heart. So you guys, I will put the link to the class. I'm teaching it next Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific. I felt guided to choose Sunday because it's a soul day. And I never ran my classes during a Sunday. It's a giant experiment, experiment like everything I do. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Yeah, like every, everything I do is a giant experiment. So I figured, most people will be able to create the time on the day of the soul to learn the tools, the practices and rituals for energetic sovereignty. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna put the link and the tools that I use, I use sacred geometry in my work. Why? Because sacred geometry is the language of the soul. My main intention is to assist your subconscious mind in letting go of any addiction to struggle, to any survival strategies, and to actually embrace this new elevated way of being. And the fastest way for me to reach your subconscious mind is through the power of symbols and through the power of sacred geometry, right? To the power of the most primordial symbols, the basic form and the structure of the universe that your cells recognize. 
So sacred geometry, then we use this process called alchemical ceremonies and you don't have to understand. Yes, next Sunday, not this Sunday, the, the next one. It's gonna be July 29th, you guys. July 29th, August 5th, and August 19th. Okay, so we have three Sundays. If you miss a class, it's not the end of the world because replays both audio and video will be posted in the group. All right, you guys. Yeah, so, so this is going to be powerful. And I've been sitting with what's the level of investment that Ascended Master is asking me. And entire day yesterday and entire day today, I kept seeing the same sacred numbers. And I'm reading the field. This is the number that is meant to be as an admission for this class. It's $333, you guys. Okay? $333 for the three weeks. Okay, so I'm choosing to create these containers in order for pretty much anybody to step into it, to learn these practices, and to create powerful energetic shifts. Not everybody can afford working with me privately. And I only work with three private clients at a time. Some of my clients invest up to $6,000 to work with me per month, you guys. I'm not saying to you to impress you with these numbers. I'm saying to you that people are choosing to commit on a very high level. And the very first thing that I teach them is energetic mastery. Because anything else I teach is not gonna, gonna stick. So whenever I teach a group class, I bring the level of commitment and uh, vigor and depth that I bring to my personal clients. So if this resonates with you, I really encourage you to say yes to your next level of energetic sovereignty and choose to learn these practical tools that I use daily, you guys. It's a great, yeah, second workshop is on my birthday, Leah says, amazing, I love it. Yeah, honey, I will be on my birthday during the break week. Why do you guys think I got, I, I'm giving the break week? Well, for integration, because, you know, if you're feeling called to join, be prepared to implement. I'm not gonna overwhelm you. I'm gonna give you a really good level of, of um, how to say that, assignments, right? It's, a, it's very practical. So if you've never been to my classes, you guys, I'm gonna share with you how it happens. I would welcome you to a private Facebook community. And I'm very, very personal with my students. Some of my students who've been in my classes that are here, and you guys know, you see, we're going very deep. Every single comment I acknowledge, every question that I answer, and you will feel hurt. You will feel taken care of. It's not like you show up and you're watching a class and you're left alone. We're going on a journey for three weeks. You will feel me by your side. And I always, you know, I like to delight my students and surprise them with extra gifts. So I just feel I, I'm hearing, okay, this was not planned, but I'm just hearing the, the transmission. I am just decided for those people who join to give while you're waiting for the class opening which is only 12 days until we go live you guys when you join now you know when you act now i'm going to give you an access to my earlier program called karmic clearing 2.0 it's a phenomenal program one of the earliest one that i taught where you actually receive the clearings to receive the activations this program is all based on me teaching you how to do it for yourself. So you don't need me after this class. That's my ultimate goal again and again and again. You can choose next level to learn different skills and to expand your um, energetic sovereignty. But my main goal is to give you practical tools. You go, you learn, you master, you walk away, and you embody it. All right, you guys. So <laughs> a lot of people are still here. I think that's it, you guys. Um, sacred geometry, invocations, rituals. I'm very ritual-based. I love introduce people to rituals. Why? If I teach you a ritual, you're going to remember it. We are tribal beings. We are wired for rituals. Gathering by the fire, telling stories, right? Celebrating birthdays. That's 
our life is structured on rituals. So imagine fusing new rituals into your life, into your spiritual life, into your energetic life. All right, you guys, I feel I gave a really good depth of what's available to you. And I will be sharing again and again for the next 12 days. Those who join early, you guys are going to get an extra program that you can start immediately, immediately. And that's what I want for you. Thank you for being here. You guys, I just encourage you to harness the power of this portal. And next year, I want you to reach out to me and say, Katarina, I listened. I acted on the message. I actually took what you shared to heart. And this and this and this happened in my life. And I called in my allies. And I decided to be an impeccable keeper of frequency. And this is how my life changed. To me, that's the deepest satisfaction if I get that message from you a year from now. Because a year from now, the full eclipse. Right, you guys? But we got to deal the, dig the well before we're thirsty. Right? Build the house before the rain comes. <laughs> Prepare before the turbulence hits. And more than anything, you, you begin to see this new identity is eventually you, you aspire to develop true frequency mastery, you guys. You know, what I'm going to encourage you, you're so welcome, darling. You're so welcome. What I also going to share something about the fifth dimension, you guys, is that it's instant manifestation. It's instant manifestation. And don't forget, instant karma. So instant manifestation, instant karma. That's why, you know, when I see some people, their lives appear to fall apart, it's just acceleration of their lessons, acceleration of the instant karma. And I say, great, happy demolition process. <laughs> you know what I mean? They probably don't get what I'm talking about. But I celebrate demolition process because whatever is old must fall away to clear the space for new. So the more you begin to put your energetic health as a priority, you become such an effortless manifester, you guys. True manifesting power. Because the more you clear and clean and heal your energy body, you liberate what? Life force, creative power to create with. But if half of you stuck in unforgiveness in the past, you have no energetic power to create with. When I saw it like that, you guys, boom, I went so obsessive. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit one more story, and I because I forgot to tell you that. Um, if I look back and I say, what was the pivotal mo moment in my entrepreneurship? <sighs> so many years invested in developing a skill, developing a mindset developing a network, right? All of those are really, really powerful and important steps in any creator's life, right? You see yourself as a creator. I remember distinctly the moment where I was introduced to deep energetic work and my soul recognized it, it was for me. I was introduced to alchemy, like spiritual alchemy, right? I was introduced to sacred geometry. I was introduced to codes of awe that Yvonne de la Flore, uh, that's technology that goes through her, really, really phenomenal technology. You guys, when I was introduced to that, I was like a hungry, no, a thirsty person who was crossing the desert. And I stumbled on oasis and I stumbled on the jug of water. And I just went all in, you know, I really entered this energetic mm, education with, from the place of innocence, from the place of open mind, and from the place of determination. And I would attend every class. I would do a homework. I would implement immediately, you guys. And the um, um, level of shift, the level of transformation, I cannot even compare. I cannot even compare, you guys. Things begin to open up so miraculously. Everything, you know, all these old vibrations of what I was forcing myself to do began to fall away. 
all the areas that were misaligned began to kind of even out themselves. And then a year later, I was living a completely different life on a completely new energetic level. So you guys, if you desire a transformation, if you desire to up level how you show up energetically, and more than anything, if you serve clients, if you have children, it's our primary responsibility because we emanate that vibration and we can only teach, transmute, inspire from the place of our own frequency, you guys. So it's our primary responsibility to upgrade that, to bring a next level of awareness, to liberate ourselves into remembrance of who we truly are. I love you guys. Thank you for spending this time. You will see the little promotional videos. You will see a link. It's easy to join. Um, I just encourage you to trust your inner yes. It's a short course. It's only three weeks. It's not eight weeks. It's not 12. And on the day of your soul, on Sunday, we're going to go deep. And what I can guarantee you, that you will not feel like the like your self you will feel like a completely new person you will feel empowered you will feel clear you will feel ready to finish the second part of this year from complete next level of awareness confidence and sovereignty this is what i desire for you so if you feel the call it will be an honor to be on the journey with you thank you for this time i love you God bless you. The golden age is coming, you guys. And why not to choose that? Why not to choose the new earth? Why not to choose ascension? We have that opportunity. Once in entire history of humanity. I love you. <laughs>